Okay, so we are looking at equations with rational coefficients. That means that we're going to have decimals and fractions in our coefficients. We're going to start with number one. On number one, our variable is being multiplied by 3.4. Our main goal is to get our variable by itself, so we just do the opposite operation. Since my variable is being multiplied by 3.4, I will just divide by 3.4. Those opposite operations of multiplying by 3.4 and dividing by 3.4 cancel each other out, leaving our variable by itself on the left side of the equal sign. On the right side of the equal sign, I must also divide by 3.4. In doing division like this, the top always falls into the right. Instead of making 3.4, I'm going to move my decimal place once to the right. So for the division, it will be 34 going into, I'll move the decimal once to the right in this number two, 578. Not going to five, but it will go into 57 one time. 34 times 1 is 34. I'm going to do my subtraction here. 7 minus 4 is 3. 5 minus 3 is 2. And so now 34 will not go into 23, so I know I've gotten a big enough number here. I'm going to go ahead and drop my 8. Go ahead and drop it like it's hot. So now I'm putting 34 into 238. So let me see. 30, 69, 20. Uh, it seems like it will go about seven times. Let me just check real quick. I'll write it lightly there in, in case I need to erase it. Um, 7 times 4 is 28. Carry the 2. 7 times 3 is 21, 22, 23. Ah, it goes into it exactly. That's nice. That's 23. And that is 17. Um, it goes into it 70 times equally. Nothing left over there. So A does equal 17 exactly. And so that's what one looks like with the decimal. Let's look at what one looks like with a fraction. Now in this one on number three, it says that my variable is being multiplied by five-sixths. Well again, it's always just identifying what's being done to the variable and doing the opposite thing. Since my variable is being multiplied by five-sixths, I'm going to divide by 5 6 I know that my rule for division is keep change flip when I'm dividing fractions. So again, whenever I, since this is multiplying by 5 6 when I divide by 5 6 those will cancel leaving the K by itself. It's on the other side where I have to divide by 5 6 or for my keep, this is my keep. I'm going to change it from division to multiplication and I'm going to flip it to 6 over 5. So this is my keep, change, flip, to divide 20 by 5 sixths. I know that 20 and 5 are both divisible by 5. I'm going to simplify these ahead of time. 5 will go into 5 one time. And 5 will go into 24 times. What I end up here with here is a negative 4 times 6, which is negative 24 negative 24 over 1 is just negative 24.